Okay, who we have here is Aaron uh, from Mosaic Bicycles. And um, I think I met Aaron back when he was at Dean uh, doing, doing this interview. And now he's, he's on to, uh, to bigger and, and, and better things uh, with Mosaic. So Aaron, tell me about the company and how it came about. Yeah, well, you know, Mosaic is just an extension of kind of where I'm going with my career as a frame builder. Um, it's kind of enabled me to broaden my horizons into different materials and uh, different designs um, that kind of display my talent as a frame builder. So I'm, right. obviously I'm working with titanium a lot right. um, because that's kind of the heart and soul of what I've done as a frame builder. You understand, yeah. um, but I'm also doing a lot of steel right now as well too. So well. across right. the board, mountain and road, lots of cycle cross, right. custom projects. Right. And, right. Yeah. So. Show us your bike. Uh, tell us about it. So this is the um, the Institute model from Mosaic Cycles. It is a custom budded, size specific titanium tube set, um, 325 titanium here, and uh, it's custom budded per rider weight and size. Um, this one is my own particular bike here, so I really like this one. I've ridden it on a ton, um, and it comes in at about just. This one's 59, so it comes in at about uh, 16 pounds or so. And, uh -huh. um, it's got the BB30 that I've been testing out all summer long. I really liked in the titanium. Uh -huh. um, super stiff rear end, yet a really lightweight frame construction. Um, along with the Campanillo Super Record, you can't really go wrong. Right, <laughs> so. right. I notice these are quite a bit thicker than this. That's correct. Um, so the name of the game in titanium is really tubing selection. That's one of the main benefits to the end user of a tie bike. Um, mm -hmm. When you take a look at your rider goals, your rider weight, your rider size, positioning, you can choose an appropriate tube set to get after their goals. Um, right. And so for me, I'm a little bit more performance oriented. I keep a little bit, um, you know, stouter chain stays for better power transfer. Power transfer um, but right. while, you know, going with a little bit more thin wall material for the rest of the frame to keep the weight down. Weight down, so, right. Mm -hmm, that's wow. right. Let's move the ride. So again, it's all personalized to each individual rider. This right. one's personalized to me. Somebody else's bike could look totally different than this in, in tube it. diameters, right. tube sizes, wall thicknesses. So leaving a, a bigger company, what are the advantages uh, that, it, that it has allowed you to do? And, and what are some of the challenges that uh, you've encountered? Well, certainly when you're, when you're out on your own, you're doing everything. You know, you're the, um, you're the builder, you're the welder, the finisher, the bookkeeper, the marketing. It's, you know, it's, it becomes more of a process for sure. Um, uh -huh. But it also enables you to start stylizing and personalizing your product in terms of logos and, and artwork. and. Right. Um, you, the product starts to take on you know, what you like to do and what you like to ride. I find that the people I end up working with, they all like to ride the same way I do or the, the same type of bikes and, right. and the shop owners that I work with and the product that we make, which is, which is a lot of fun because you get to, you get to right. know them really well. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the products and the individuality allows you to create, just focus on the product and, right. and let it have yeah. life of its own. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, and it's you know, I'm still doing everything one at a time, so um, we, I keep a really high quality of, of what I do in welding because that's my specialty is TIG welding, so it um, keeps the quality high and, and the end product um, reflects that. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah.